Right, we're going to simplify the following expressions. We're not going to, I'm not going to read them all out here because what we need to know, first of all, is you need to learn, make sure you know all the laws of indices. So, we should know by now that a to the m times a to the n is the same as a to the m plus n. So you add the powers together when you're multiplying. When you're dividing, a to the m divided by a to the n is that you subtract the powers. And then a to the m to the power of n becomes a to the m times n. These are the three basic rules. Then you have the idea that a negative index, a to the minus n, is 1 over a to the n. A to the, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And then a to the 1 over n is the nth root of a. So if it was a to the half, it would be the square root of a. If it's a to the one third, it would be the cube root of a. A to the m over n, what means you take the nth root of a, and then you raise the whole thing to the power of m. You can do things in the other order, but it's often better to take the root first and then raise to the power. Now, these are two that are not normally taught, but a over b to the m is the same as a to the m to over b to the m, so you can actually uh, apply the power up to each of these things individually and then work out the fraction. And this one's quite useful. a over b to the minus m means that you invert them round the other way and then write b to the m, a to the m. These two normally aren't taught, but are quite useful. So these are some of the rules of indices that you really should try to learn. Right, so we've got x squared times x to the power of 7. So it's like the first rule here, so we will actually just add the powers together. So write down, they've both got the same base. This is the base, this is the power, or sometimes it's called the index. So both got the same base, so it's x to the 2 plus 7, which is x to the 9. Second one, 3t cubed times minus 5t to the 6. Well, we put the numbers first. So it's 3 times minus 5, and then put the two letter terms afterwards, times t cubed times t to the 6. Now, 3 times minus 5 is minus 15. And then this one, we just apply the first rule again, so it becomes t to the 3 plus 6. They both have the same base, t. So we just add the powers together because we're multiplying. So we get a final answer of minus 15t to the 3 plus 6, which is t to the 9. C. A to the 5 divided by a to the 5. Well, if you did something, um, um, divide something by itself, you're always going to get the answer 1. But if you apply the rules of indices, because you're doing a division, we subtract the powers, we get a to the 5 minus 1, 5 minus 5, which gives me a to the 0, and we know that a to the 5 divided by a to the 5 is actually equal to 1. So what we've done, we've shown that this rule here is actually true. Anything to the power of 0 is actually 1. D. 8b to the minus 5 divided by b to the minus 7. So what we do is we separate up 8 divided by 2, and then we multiply that by b to the minus 5 divided by b to the minus 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And this one, we, because we are dividing, then we have to write b to the minus 5 minus minus 7. So we have to be careful with the negative signs there. So that becomes 4 to the b to the minus 5, a minus times, a minus and a take away a minus is plus 7. So it becomes 4b squared. Right, looking at e... We've got y to the 4 all cubed times 3y squared. So using this rule here, a to the m to the n becomes a to the m n. So this becomes y to the 4 times 3 times 3 to the y squared. So that's equal to 3 times, 3 times 4 is 12 times y squared. Now the rule here means we have to add the powers using this rule here. So we're going to end up with 3 to the 12 plus 2, which here gives me 3 wide to the power of 14. F, uh, 4z squared cubed divided by 2z cubed. Now in algebra, because the 2 and the z can look fairly similar, it's a good idea to put a line through your z's. 
That's just something I've learned from a very long time ago, and therefore you don't confuse the two and the Z together. Right, what does this mean here? Well, we're going to apply this rule. A to the MN is A to the MN. So we have to apply it to the 4 and the Z squared. So it becomes 4 to cubed Z to the 2 times 3 divided by 2 times Z cubed. 4 cubed is 64. Z to the power 6 divided by 2 Z to the cube. So I'm going to put the numbers together. So we're going to do 64 divided by 2 times Z to the 6 divided by Z cubed. 64 divided by 2 is 32. And then using this rule here, A to the M divided by A to the N is A to the N minus N. It's going to give me Z to the 6 minus 3, which is 32 Z cubed. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, work out some, simplify some expressions using the rules of indices. In later videos, we'll look at some more complicated ones, some of the later rules of indices that I've explained at the beginning. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.